<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to continue um, showing you uh, the reconditioning and repainting of the uh, bottom of my uh, 69 Camaro Z28 that I'm in the middle of the restoration video series on. So uh, in a previous video, I had shown that we had started to prepare the bottom of the car. And uh, so now that's all finished now. And we're ready to apply the, uh, uh, the undercoating on it, which is really not an undercoating. It's, it's, a, uh, it's actually a, a truck bed liner. And it's called uh, a Raptor Liner. And it sprays on like paint. It's got a little bit of a crinkle finish to it. And it just looks fantastic. I mean, this car had originally had uh, some undercoating on the fender wells under in inside the fender wells, which was pretty common back then. And uh, um, some of the overspray of that undercoating was kind of all ov over the bottom of the car. So um, we kind of got rid of most of that. And uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm very, very happy with the condition of the bottom of this car. I mean, there were a couple of holes in the trunk there that we patched up. And then uh, the rest of the car, after we got all of the, uh, um, you know, surface rust and, and uh, some of the undercoating off of there, it looked really, really good. A lot of the original blue paint is still there. And uh, so I'm very, very happy with the condition of the bottom of this car. So um, I'm just kind of showing here uh, the final, after the final preparation of the bottom of the car before we start spraying the uh, Raptor liner on there. So um, anyway, and also I want to give a shout out to the uh, body shop, which is Kovacs Auto Body in San Rafael, California. Uh, they are doing they're just doing a great job on all of this. They patched the floor here as you can see four spots in the floor uh, were patched up and um, uh, you know we got it as good you know patch as we possibly can to make it look like it hasn't been patched but uh, you know you can't get it perfect but they got it close to it so I'm very very happy. And uh, they've been very gracious about letting me use their lift and, and everything else. So uh, anyway, uh, as you can see here, they're starting to uh, get the gun ready to, to apply this liner. And uh, with a few little test shots there to get the flow correct. Um, you know, it takes a few tries to get the exact... Uh, you know what you you know you can adjust the how much you want to go on how thick and so on so and I told them that I didn't really want it to look very thick I just wanted to kind of give it a an even consistent look on the bottom of the car so that's about all you can do to you know these 50 plus year old cars um, but anyway as you'll see it it turned out beautiful and I'm really looking forward to, you know, putting in the new exhaust system and all the nice new uh, restored parts and so on when we rebuild the car. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to kind of let the camera go here and kind of give a give an idea of what's involved in applying this stuff. Uh, it basically took us about 45 minutes, I guess, to apply it. And again, it makes it a lot easier when you have a nice lift like this. So, this is in between changing the gun out.
So anyway, it's interesting to watch uh, the process. And, um, you know, it goes on very, very smooth and has, a, has great coverage. So in between changing the gun out, you know, I kind of came underneath here to show you the difference between the parts that have been sprayed and the parts that haven't been sprayed. And you can see it's got a nice, nice texture to it. Um, and it's very smooth and consist consistent. So sped it up a little bit here because it uh, again it does take a while but I kind of wanted to show you the whole process so you get an idea of what's involved in doing it in case you feel like you want to do it to your car and then after this is done of course then the the uh, the blue gets sprayed on and then, you know, a lot of the natural uh, blue overspray will show up underneath the car as it did from the factory. And it'll, you know, with those two blending together, it's going to look really nice. And then here's the, he's just finishing up here. And when we got to the firewall, he's going to, he's going to feather it in on the firewall so that the bottom portion of the firewall uh, has the spray on there. And then he'll just kind of feather it at, at the part where the uh, tape is. And then when I go and paint the uh, firewall, the satin black, It'll just kind of blend in with this uh, textured paint and uh, look natural then. Then here it is all finished in its drying stage. Especially when it dries it. Yeah. It has a little different look to it. Yeah, that's true. see the patches look really good really good very happy I mean it's as good as they can look And then again, here's the firewall area that I talked about. And uh, again, when I feather in the uh, satin black, then it's going to look really nice. One more sweep of the bottom here as it's drying. And of course, it looks better and better as it dries because it dries to a, you know, satin finish. And it just looks very nice. highly recommend it to anyone who's uh, restoring their car frame off like I am here. And when the new gas tank gets on and all this stuff underneath, it's going to look great. So then after it dries, we're going to mount the car on this uh, 
um, platform here so that we can roll the body around. Uh, there's a little tiny bit more of body work to do. We have to hang the doors and then uh, paint the jams and then hang the doors. And then once that's done, we'll roll the body into the paint booth, paint it, and then at that point, I'll re reattach the uh, restored suspension and the car will be back on its wheels. So a little bit more natural noise coming up here as we mounted the car on the stand as you can see here they did that while I was gone so I wasn't able to catch that on film but it's okay they just roll it up underneath the uh, the lift and then lower the car down onto it and then detach it from the lift then here's the uh, firewall that I was talking about earlier you know I'll paint the rest of the firewall with the satin black and just kind of feather it in to what's been painted on the bottom and it's going to look really good. So one more view of the bottom after it's dry. And I just couldn't be happier. Be interesting to know what your comments are like. Just uh, leave comments below and let me know what you think. are still painted. I love the car with the vinyl top. Because the vinyl tops go on after the car was painted. So thank you so much for watching. This That's it for this video, and I will have more coming up. And again, please uh, subscribe, like, and share, and leave comments and let me know what you think. And uh, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.